Hey everyone, I hope you're well. If you're new to my channel, my name is Katie and today I'm going to be talking you through some bits that I recently got in my PO box. So if you haven't seen my first blogger mail haul video, I'll leave a link to that in the down bar. But the basic premise of this video is I run through some bits that I've got in my PO box. These are things that I've been sent from PR companies, mainly new launches, new beauty products that have just come out that they would like to see what I think of basically. A little disclaimer before I get into it, this is not a boasty or braggy video. As a blogger I do get sent a lot of products and I thought this is just a nice way to show you guys a lot of new launches. Also if you guys see anything in this video and you want a full review of it, just leave me a comment down below and I will get on that. Otherwise I find it quite hard to know what people want to see, want, want reviews of. So yeah, this is not braggy, this is just me showing you it. There's a lot to get through, so I'm not going to talk any longer, let's just get on to it. So the first thing I want to show you, I received yesterday in the post, it is from YSL Yves Saint Laurent, and it's the new Black Opium Nuit Blanche perfume, um, and they also sent a tiny mini one as well, which I'm so excited about, I love miniature perfumes. Also, I'm one of those people that forget to put perfume on all the time, so to have one in my handbag so that I can apply it once I've left the house is always a good one in my eyes. So this is the bottle, it's absolutely beautiful. It's available nationwide from the 3rd of Feb. Oh, I love it, it's just beautiful. Go pop into a boot store and have a whiff because I promise you'll probably like it. Next up are some more products from YSL. These came separately, but I wanted to include these anyway. They have just launched a new foundation which is called the Touche Eclat Le Tint. I am terrible at speaking French, um, so apologies. It does say that it's the first awakening, in, awakening foundation by YSL. The magic of a weightless radiance and a flawless coverage. I think this is like the Touche Eclat concealer but in um, foundation form. They sent me three shades to try on, um, the one that suits me perfectly if you have pale skin like me is the BR10 Core Porcelain Foundation and um, that's currently my makeup bag because I've been trying it and I really like this foundation, it goes on really nicely, it lasts well, it has kind of a medium coverage I'd say, I definitely need to use concealer still um, on blemishes after I've used it but it's just a really beautiful foundation, it looks like skin. Um, and the packaging looks like this. I really like it. Oh, leg crab. Leg crab. Right, next are some products that I got from HD Brows. Um, I think they've just launched a makeup range called High Definition, um, and they had a pop-up in Box Park recently, so I went along and had my brows did, and I also got some products, so I thought I'd show you those because I've been loving them. They've been in my makeup bag. So the first is uh, brow colour fix. The packaging is really nice, really sleek and simple. So it's basically a coloured brow gel. So if you don't have much time in the morning, you can just use this. I've got the darkest shade, I think, and it suits my brows perfectly. I do find that I have to um, run another comb through it afterwards just to disperse the product evenly, but I really, really recommend this one. I also got the Brow Define. This is in the shade 03 Vamp. Under the lid it's got a little sharpener which is perfect because it's included in the packaging so you're not going to lose it. And the pencil is just really nice, I've been using it just to fill my brows in, it does a good job. Along with brow products they've also launched makeup, so I got the Illuminator in 001 Champagne which is like a highlighter and it's just so, such a pretty shade. Kind of like a rose gold bronze I would say. Next up, I'm sure you've seen these everywhere because a lot of bloggers got sent them, but it is the new Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. I've been using this already. I love the packaging of this, I think it's so cool, really easy to use. I like that it's a pump rather than just a squeezy tube. Um, like a lot of primers that I have. But yeah, I really, really like it. It's a great primer. It makes my makeup last well. And they also sent over this little um, eye patch for if you have trouble sleeping. I've never worn one of these to sleep, but this one's so pretty I'm actually tempted to. This arrived yesterday and it is hilarious. It is Candy Kittens. Looks like Jamie Lang's Candy Kittens have teamed up with Maybelline's Baby Lips, but they sent over the Eaton Mess gluten-free candy. I um, had to keep these very safe because otherwise Andrew would have eaten them all, so um, I'm really looking forward to trying these. I think they're like Percy Pigs, they look like Percy Pigs, and also I think that um, they've made some Baby Lips to go with it, but they seem to be missing from the box. I'm not sure 
if they were supposed to be in there or not, I don't know. I have some eyelash products from the brand Nouveau Lashes. I love this brand so much. They've got such a good selection of eyelashes available. These are the style three and they're really kind of glamorous and long. Style two are quite natural. Style one are quite thick and but a natural style in length as well. And style four are very long and voluminous. Voluminous. Brand are absolutely fab. I love them. They also do um eyelash extensions um at a couple of places i went to harley street to get some recently and they looked amazing i'm definitely going to go back i've decided that for my wedding i need um eyelash extensions so i'll be going to them before my wedding date to get some i went to a blogger event last week um and the goodie bag was insane so i wanted to show you it it was l'oreal palace have just released a sculpting range for the whole entire face um called infallible sculpt and this was the goodie bag it's like a really classic makeup artist makeup case and i've never had one of these before but i've always wanted one so i'm going to show you what's inside the um event was held with mario makeup by mario is his instagram and he does makeup for the kardashians he was the one that basically invented the contour i think and the sculpt so great to meet him so l'oreal have launched some brow sculpts which are tinted brow gels these colors look too pale for my dark brows but i'll definitely give them a try they've also launched some infallible sculpt contouring palettes and this is really cool it includes kind of a cream to gel powder formulation of a highlight and a contour in two different shades i haven't tried it yet but i'm really excited to i just wanted to show you guys before i went and dipped my finger and brushes in them all but um i think it's going to be really really great They've also brought out some blush sculpts which are kind of like blush trios with three different shades in. So they contain like a really dark shade, a highlight and kind of a medium shade in these. I think my favourite has to be the 101 Soft Sand because it's such a pretty kind of peachy pink contour. I haven't seen anything like this on the high street yet so I... I have to give props to L'Oreal Paris for bringing out some new products. There's some new foundations in the Infallible Sculpt range. These are foundations that are great for contouring. So the product is really, really thin and really light, but the pigmentation is still there. So don't worry if you do have um, skin that you do want a bit more coverage on. But it basically means as the formulation is so thin, then you can build up your contour and your contour will stick to it a lot more as well. So I think this shade's going to be good for me. The shade 01 Light. I'll try this out and let you know what I think. If you would like before and after pictures um, of this on my blog, let me know in the down in the comments. Finally, in the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Sculpt range, they have these. And I think these are my favourite bits. They are the new Infallible Matte Max Lip kind of products. And they're £6.99 each. My favourite shade is 001. Um, and basically it's like a gel matte lipstick which is so moisturising, a lot of matte lipsticks really dry your lips out and kind of flake away and make your lips look horrible but these ones are really moisturising. The product is in the lid and then it comes with this really cool like little lip bullet so you just kind of rub your product in there and then the lip product is on. I'm going to apply some now colour is just so so lovely I love it they last really well on the lips and there's also a really pretty colour selection like I also love this one 06 which is like an orange red so yeah I really love these I can't wait for these to get on the high street because I think you're all gonna love them there's also a new mascara in the range I'm actually wearing this today I've been using it for the past week and I really like it when I first tried it I was a bit unsure I was like this brush is ridiculous like how am I supposed to use this but since using it properly, I really, really like it. The idea is that you can tight line with it as well as really fan out your lashes. The brush is crazy. Have a look at that close up. Okay, something I am so excited about, possibly the most excited I've been about everything in this video so far, is the new Urban Decay Gwen Stefani. I've been sent some bits from her range and I am obsessed. This is the blush palette. I will show you what it looks like because it's just to, to die for. It comes with six beautiful shades from kind of like a contour to a highlighter, shimmery pinks and peaches. This is just so pretty. I'm going to use this 
every single day. They also sent over some lipsticks from the Gwen Stefani range and the lip liners to match. When I saw these in my PO box, I felt like the happiest girl in the world. I felt so lucky. This is like my dream. Urban Decay is one of my favourite all-time makeup brands ever and Gwen Stefani has always been an idol of mine back in since back when I was like 11 or 12 I used to love her so much. I'm going to do four reviews of all of these products on my blog but for now I'm going to show you two colours that I love. The first is called Ex-Girlfriend. The packaging is really cool and this is just a really really pretty pinky and brown nude shade which is just so gorgeous. And then I'm going to show you this shade 714. A really classic Gwen lip which I think will be really really popular. Also there's one here called Spiderweb. Do do again I'm a Spiderweb. Which was one of my favourite No Doubt songs back in the days. So yeah there are also lip liners to match. Um, I've tried a lot of Urban Decay lip liners and they're all beautiful. Really creamy, really pigmented. Oh there's also a brow kit in the range as well. I've tried Urban Decay's brow boxes before and they're really great. I just want to see the packaging of this one. Oh, so cute. I absolutely love it. In the top, there's two eyebrow shades and then a wax. And then in the bottom, you've got some mini tweezers and some brow brushes as well, which is so adorable. Next up, I think you guys will like these a lot. I've been sent some stuff from the Kardashian beauty hair range so the kardashians have just launched some hair products and i've been sent three of them first up is a black seed dry oil i am obsessed with hair oils so i think i'm gonna love this i haven't tried any of these yet but if you would like a review on my blog do let me know i also have the blow dry cream smooth styler and the k body volume foam which is a mousse and all of these contain black seed oil i'm not entirely sure what that is but I love the packaging, it's kind of a rose gold and black kind of feel to it all, so yeah, I will get on trying these lot. Maybelline have sent this really weird box to promote their new mascara, the lid fell off, but it's basically their new Four C's push up drama. I love the original Four C's, so I'm so excited to try this. The brush looks fantastic, nice and firm, like you'll be able to get a lot of product on your lashes. And this is all about push-up drama with their cup-shaped bristles. I'm really looking forward to trying this, although this box is a bit wacky. Sanctuary Spa have sent some of their face masks. I love their face masks, so I'm really excited to try these. We've got the Cleanse Warming Detox Charcoal Wash. Oh, so this is a face wash. I didn't even know they did this. Transforms from a refreshing gel to a silky oil to a purifying foam. I love gel to oil um, cleansers to take my makeup off with so I'm really looking forward to trying this. And then we have the 5 minute thermal detox mask. I think I've tried this before and it's amazing. It's an intense warming charcoal cleansing mask and I think this is brilliant for acne prone skin so if you've got skin like mine you will love this. Tresme sent me this and it's one of those really cool press releases with a video inside. The first time I got one of these, Andrew was like mystified. Ariel Plays Jordan. the little Jordan. advert in there. I'm gonna stop that now because it's loud. This is their new revolutionary beauty for volume range. And it's all about reversing the routine. So it's really cute actually. They also sent over some knickers and socks. And they're basically saying, what do you put on first? Knickers or socks when you get ready in the morning? I put on knickers first definitely but they're saying try something different reverse it so put on your socks before your knickers because this range is all about conditioning before you shampoo it says here using conditioner after you shampoo can weigh hair down that's why Tresemme Beauty Full Volume Regime starts with a pre-wash conditioner instead. So before you wash, you wet your hair and use step one, which is the pre-wash conditioner. Then you go ahead with step two, which is the shampoo. And then there's a couple of styling products in the range as well. There's a touchable bounce mousse and a hair maximizer oh i'm not quite sure what this is dr organic has sent over some of their tanning range 
they have sent the Moroccan Glow Self Tan Mousse and I've got the shade Light here. I'm really looking forward to using these into the summer months just so I can go on holiday with already a little bit of colour and a little bit of confidence. Um, and they've also sent the Body Polish Pre-Tan Exfoliator so you can not have to worry about all those dry patches and fake tan clinging to those patches. And they've also sent a body lotion which is a tan extender which you can use on your face and body to enhance your tan and make it last longer. Lottie London have sent over a Soap Star Solid Brush Cleanser. I've never used one of these brush cleansers before, but as it's kind of um, already in a little pot, I think it'll be really easy to use. So I think the soap is just in this little pot. I've just spent for five minutes trying to get this um, packaging off, but I can't. Oh, so I won't be able to show you it just yet, but I'm guessing you wet your brush, you swipe it around in this little pot, so it gets a good clean and just a really nice easy way to clean your makeup brushes which is always a horrible chore. Sleek have bought out some new lipsticks, they are called the VIP lipsticks, I love them so much. I've already done a full review and swatches of them over on my blog so I'll leave a link to that on down bar. I haven't got the nude with me which is my favourite because that's in my makeup bag but I do want to show you this colour which is called Flaunt It. I think it's the perfect dupe for Max Morange so if you're looking for a dupe for that definitely try this out these are so affordable they smell amazing they're pigmented and just i love sleek lipsticks i just love them so much sorry i'm really rushing now because there's so much to get through i don't think i'm going to be able to show you all of it right now because there's just too much but let me know if you would like another one of these videos sleek have also got two new um eye divine palettes which i'm so excited about these are my favorite palettes in the world so we've got all night long i've already stuck my fingers in all of these because i swatched them for my blog it has 12 beautiful natural shades mainly shimmer but with a couple of mattes mixed in there i just think this is absolutely beautiful and they've also got a new day palette as well which is very very similar just a bit more warm toned i think but similarly with a nice mix of shimmer and matte eyeshadows revlon have launched some new mascaras you might have seen these on some blogs and youtube channels recently i love that they're all really similar but with different colored lids so you know exactly what they do and each one is for a different thing. For example, the pink one is for ultra volume. Green is for super length. Blue is for volume and length. Purple is for dramatic definition. And red is for ultimate all in one. So I'm looking forward to trying all of these out. They've also sent over some lip glosses. This nude one, which is called Smoky Topaz, looks absolutely beautiful. Monkey have also just started to doing a makeup range. Monkey is a store that I go to in Carnaby Street. They're a fashion brand, really affordable, great clothing. And they've just started doing makeup, I think. So they sent over some products including this makeup bag which I love it's like holographic all the colors of the world they've sent a liquid liner in silver some eyeshadows which come in really kind of cool packaging these look like loose pigments and some lip glosses if you would like a review of these as well let me know I've got some body lotions from Roger and Galley their products smell insane and these I've tried in the past and they're so moisturizing my eczema is really flared up at the moment on my shoulders, which is probably a bad thing because I'm wearing off the shoulder a lot. You probably can't see it, but the skin is so dry and sore and inflamed, and I know that these will sort all my dry skin and eczema out, so I'm really looking to try, forward to trying these. And finally, La Roche-Posay have a new um, Effacolor BB Blur. The Effacolor range is amazing for acne-prone skin, and this is like a BB cream. So they've sent two shades. I think the fair light shade will be perfect for me. It contains SPF 20. So if you would like a before and after of these on the blog and a little review, let me know and I will start trying them now. So that is everything. Let me know if you enjoy these types of videos and if you'd like to see more of them. I know I definitely do. I love being nosy and see what everyone has been buying or has bought or been sent recently. So yeah, let me know if you enjoy this and I can do more of them. Now I have to tidy all of this mess away and organise it into things to um, try in order of. Be sure to subscribe guys and I will see you again soon.